Hey guys, what's going on? Reflex 66 here, going over another tech quick task guide video today. Um, today we're going over another one of Jaeger's missions. Uh, we're going over the trophy, which is on the Huntsman's Path. Um, for this task, you have to kill Rashala, and you have to turn in a golden TT pistol. Um, we're going to go over where Rashala spawns here on customs, and uh, you know, as far as the TT pistol, you, you don't have to get one from him. You can just turn in any TT pistol. Um, but first, we're going to go over where he spawns. Um, there's generally two spawns that are shown down on the map in the description, um, the gas station and the dorms. Um, but sometimes if he spawns in the gas station, he can get he can be seen. Uh, he gets pushed out the backside of gas and goes all the way down to, to the checkpoint down there. Um, but that's very rare. Normally he stays in the gas station, around it, and then at the dorms. Um, when he spawns inside the gas station or in back, um, your best bet is kind of trying to engage in close proximity and use vehicles and barriers as cover. If you try to engage him from the hill up top there, rocks, you better be on quick with your shots because if not, his bodyguards will take you out. Um, Rishala spawns with four bodyguards. All of them, including Rishala, have AKs. Rishala has a, a 5.56 AK, um, and his bodyguards all have the 5.45 variant. Um, but yeah, they can have good equipment, good armor, so, you know, if you're, if you're going to try to pick them off, you're going to want to kind of get close, definitely use grenades. One thing to be aware of, um, if, if Rishala is in a tight position, say inside the back of gas here, Rishala was right in here with his bodyguards, if you throw a grenade in, they're all going to come running out at the same time. So if you're going to throw grenades, be on your toes, be ready for them to rush you. Um, but yeah, use your, use your little corners. Another thing Rishala does is he runs and hides. So if you're fighting his bodyguards out front, he might run out the backside of gas station or hide back here in the corner um, so you can find him all through the gas station a lot of times he go on the side over there in the vehicles um, he does go hide in the propane tanks in the bushes over there I've seen him on the outside of the blue containers but yeah anywhere outside here um, you're just gonna want to use your use your cover get close engage try to pick off one at a time remember there's four bodyguards every time they're the Zavatskis you'll be able to tell them different from other scavs because they'll have um, the Karasa armor on and helmets and carrying an AK. Most of the time they spawn with an IFAC and grenades. Um, but yeah, that's everything for the gas station. Now we're gonna head over to dorms and give that a look. All right guys, we're over here at the dorms. We're starting on the back side of the two-story dorm. Um, when you're approaching the dorms and you think Rashala might be there, um, one thing that's important with Rashala and with Tarkov in general is listening. Just listen to the sound of the background. Um, if you get close to the building, and you hear four or five voices all start mumbling at the same time, you'll know he's there. You know, you'll, well, you'll know there's at least a, a group of scabs there. It could potentially just be regular scabs, but always listen for the scab mumbles. And if you think you hear it, just shoot a window. Um, if you shoot in proximity of the bodyguards, it alerts them, and they'll all just start mumbling. You know, that'll that'll pique the, the bodyguards' interest and set them on high alert. Um, if you hear the voices in the second, in two-story dorm, I recommend popping this door here on the side and then just straighten across and look at to see if you see him. A lot of times you'll see him down the other end of the hallway here or right at the base of the steps on the right hand side. Um, you can't get in on the second floor over here, but if you don't see him there, but you still hear the voices, you think they might be upstairs, you can either go in from the other side or you just come in here. Now remember, you can't get past this gate, this cage right here. So if you look this way, it's the only way they could be. If you don't see him, clear the rest of the floor. If you don't see anything there, then push back up to two. This is where it gets tricky. Um, you can you can listen to hear where they're front, where, where you hear the sound. If you don't hear any sound, but you heard it before, you can throw a grenade down the hallway and then clear both ways. Um, but yeah, that's that's how to check two-story for them. Um, and then three-story dorms, the same thing. Clear slowly. Make sure you cover all the corners. They do hide in rooms. Um, I've seen the entire party come out of one room before. All five scabs you know all four bodyguards and Rashala. all right once you kill Rashala, um he can have a, a golden tt pistol on him you do have to give the golden tt pistol over to jaeger um for completing this task but it doesn't have to be the one you killed so if someone if say you killed Rashala and he didn't have a golden tt pistol and then the next raid you go with some friends and your friend kills Rashala, you can take the golden tt pistol off his body and turn that one into jaeger um but once you have the a Rashala kill of your own and you turn in a golden TT pistol, that's the end of the task. It's your complete. Um, you get 20,000 experience. You get plus 0 0.05 uh, rep with Jaeger. You get um, a surgical kit, 
four kite gunpowders, and five pieces of plexiglass. Um, but that's that's everything you need to know about the trophy task, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to leave down in the comments. I'll get to you as soon as I can. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.